In the deep places of the world, where the roots of the mountains delve into the ancient earth, there once thrived the greatest kingdom of the dwarves, Khazad-dum, known to others as Moria, the Black Chasm. Founded in ages past by Durin the Deathless, the eldest of the seven fathers of the dwarves, Khazad-dum was a realm of unmatched splendor and wealth. Its vast halls echoed with the sounds of hammer and anvil, and its people delved ever deeper in search of precious metals and gems. The dwarves of Khazad-dum were renowned for their skill in mining and craftsmanship. Among their most prized discoveries was mithril, true silver, a metal of extraordinary beauty and value. Mithril was light and hard as tempered steel, resistant to tarnish, and could be polished to a marvelous sheen. It was said that the elves loved it above all other metals, and the wealth of Khazad-dum grew beyond measure as they traded Mithril with the Noldoran elves of Erechion. As the ages passed, the veins of Mithril drew the dwarves ever deeper into the bowels of the Misty Mountains. Their delvings became more ambitious, their tunnels stretching further beneath the earth than any before. Yet, in their fervor to extract the precious metal, they paid little heed to the ancient warnings and the dark secrets slumbering in the depths. Unbeknownst to the dwarves, beneath the roots of the mountains lay a shadow of ancient dread, a remnant from the elder days when Morgoth, the first Dark Lord, waged war against the Valar and the free peoples of Middle-earth. This being was a Balrog, a Maiar spirit corrupted and transformed into a demon of flame and shadow. After Morgoth's defeat in the War of Wrath, many of his servants were destroyed or scattered. The Balrog of Khazad-dum had fled and hidden deep within the earth, entering a long slumber to escape the wrath of the Valar. In the year 1980 of the Third Age, the unthinkable occurred, as the dwarves mined ever deeper, driven by greed and the allure of Mithril, their picks and hammers unwittingly breached the chamber where the Balrog lay dormant. With their intrusion, the ancient demon stirred from its long sleep. Flames flickered in the darkness, and a terror beyond comprehension awoke. The Balrog burst forth in a cataclysm of fire and shadow. Its very presence was a manifestation of primordial fear, a creature wreathed in darkness, wielding a whip of flame and a sword that burned with unholy light. The dwarves, unprepared for such horror, found themselves facing a foe beyond their power. The first to fall was King Durin VI, slain by the Balrog's fiery wrath. His death marked the beginning of the Calamity, and from that moment, the creature became known as Durin's Bane. The dwarves fought valiantly to repel the demon, but their weapons had little effect on such an ancient and powerful being. The Balrog's onslaught was relentless, and the halls of Khazad-dum became filled with fire, smoke, and the screams of the fallen. Durin's son, Nine Thirst, took up the kingship and sought to avenge his father. Gathering the warriors of Khazad-dum, he led a desperate assault against the intruder. But Nain too met his end at the hands of Durin's bane, his forces scattered and broken. With the deaths of their king and his heir, panic spread among the dwarves. Realizing that Khazad-dum could no longer be held, they made the heartbreaking decision to abandon their ancestral home. The great exodus began, and the dwarves fled north and west, seeking refuge in other realms such as Erebor, the Lonely Mountain, and the Iron Hills. The abandonment of Khazad-dum marked the end of an era. The once great city fell into darkness, its grand halls and glittering treasures left behind now claimed by the Balrog and the creatures that thrived in shadow. Orcs, trolls, and other fell beings moved into the void left by the dwarves, turning Moria into a den of evil. The awakening of Durin's Bane had repercussions beyond the dwarven realm. The loss of Khazad-dum 
severed the crucial east-west passage through the Misty Mountains, isolating the elves of Lathlorien and Mirkwood from their kin in the west. Trade and communication suffered, and the balance of power in Middle-earth shifted subtly in favor of darkness. For centuries, Khazad Dum remained a place of dread. Few dared to venture into its depths, and those who did seldom returned. The memory of Durin's bane became a cautionary tale among the dwarves, a grim reminder of the dangers that lurk when greed overrides wisdom. In the later years of the Third Age, whispers spread of an attempt to reclaim Moria. Balin, son of Fundin and companion of Thorin Oakenshield, led a group of dwarves back into khazad hoping to restore its former glory. For a time, they established a foothold, and hope was rekindled. However, their efforts were doomed. The Balrog and the Orcs eventually overwhelmed them, extinguishing the light of their endeavor. The true nature and power of Durin's Bane remained largely unknown until the arrival of the Fellowship of the Ring. Seeking a way under the mountains, they passed through Moria, only to confront the Balrog themselves. It was here that Gandalf the Grey, wielding his staff and glandring, the Foe Hammer, faced the demon in a battle of legendary proportions on the narrow bridge of Khazad Dûm. You cannot pass, Gandalf declared, standing firm against the advancing Balrog. The confrontation culminated in Gandalf shattering the bridge beneath the Balrog's feet. As the creature fell, it lashed out with its whip, ensnaring Gandalf and pulling him into the abyss. Their fight continued far below, and ultimately, Gandalf triumphed, though it cost him his mortal form. He returned later as Gandalf the White, his sacrifice pivotal in the fight against Sauron. The tale of Durin's Bane is a sobering chapter in the history of Middle-earth. It illustrates the perils of delving too greedily and too deep, of pursuing wealth without heed for the consequences. The Dwarves' awakening of the Balrog led to the loss of their greatest kingdom and altered the course of events for all the Free Peoples. The echoes of that ancient evil served as a reminder of the lingering shadows from ages past. Even in times when the great enemy seemed distant, the remnants of his malice could still wreak havoc. The story of Khazad Dum's fall stands as a testament to the interconnected fate of all races in Middle-earth and the enduring need for vigilance against the darkness that lies hidden beneath the surface.